So gone were the days of the old Nokia phones, where they were slightly big, then they got slightly smaller, then they got pretty small. I mean, for example, if you picked up a 3220 nowadays, it's absolutely ridiculously tiny, but for back then, the... That was, that was the right size for phones, and then they just got catastrophically big. Phones got bigger, they benefit from more features, but we want to go pretty basic. Let's go back to the basics, and let's have a look at some really, really tiny phones. Probably the most tiniest phones in the world that I can't use in Australia because they're only 2G, which sucks. I've already looked at two, which they are the foam baby ones. There'd be a card somewhere here. So I scoured eBay and I have got a few of them. But let's have a look at the first one. This little box, now, <laughs> I mean little as in uh, it's like Hot Wheels car couldn't even fit in here. So this is the new mind F1 Mini. It's a Porsche. Actually, no, it's not. It's a Porsche. So, um, just clearing that one up, it's a, per it's a perverse. This one is made in China, as obvious by this huge sticker. Now, Newmind actually made a, another phone that I've got. It's the F16 car phone thing. I'll card it up here as well. So anyways, what does this one have to offer? Around the box, it just says Newmind. Then we have a QR code. Feel free to scan that. I don't know where that's going to take you to, but uh, good luck. And then we have the IMEI info and serial numbers, etc, etc. It has two IMEIs, but this is only a single SIM phone. Okay. Uh, this is ticked white. Unfortunately, it's not white. It's yellow. Ignore that. Continuing on. Nothing at the bottom of the box. So opening up the box, we get the tiny phone. But let's, let's put this over there. Tips. Please use the charger correctly. Please use only original charger with new mind logo. No, I don't see it in there. That's because it didn't come with one, unfortunately. It came with uh, some micro USB headphones, which look cheap, generic, and crap. There is also a mobile manual, which is four times the size of the actual box. You can see all the photos in U disk too. The, this isn't the instructions for this phone. I did buy this second hand, by the way. And you're about to see why I bought it second hand. It's for a reason, unfortunately. I don't really know how I'm going to properly explain how tiny this is. Here's, <laughs> here's an iPhone 5 s next to it. <laughs> no kidding. The screen on this thing. This, this is a micro sim here. So let's have a look at it. Uh, it looks like a car. Ta-da. There's a little speaker grill just here. Uh, you can see the Perbush logo uh, to not involve any copyright infringement. Uh, the side of the phone has the SIM card tray, which unfortunately is damaged. Uh, that's why I got this for like $2.50 with free postage because the person said it was faulty. So I it kind of opened it up and yeah, I can't repair it. There is the tiny little micro USB port and a microphone port. There's also a little bit to put a lanyard through that was in the box. So all these wheels are just there for show. They don't do anything. And yeah, it's, uh, it's Porsche something or other. Carrera. I don't know. There used to know Porsches. I don't know them anymore. Oh, so, sorry, Porsche. But this is where the fun stops. Unfortunately, even though I charged this phone for about two hours, it just doesn't want to power on anymore. I have a feeling the tiny little battery inside of it has just given up all hopes of life and doesn't want to work anymore. Which is sad, because I really wanted to demonstrate this one. How is anyone supposed to... I mean, you can use these buttons, but imagine trying to text on this thing. I had a backup plan. If you go onto eBay and type in mini phone, you will see a number of what I'm about to show you next which is going to be the replacement for this one that I can't show any further than just this. I might chuck it on charge while I um, record the rest of this and just see if it powers on. I don't think it will, but you never know. See, it plugged into power and it doesn't work. But now, the folks at GT Star have you completely covered with a BM50 mini phone. Maybe the smallest phone in the world. There should be a question mark there. Mini size, easy to carry, an intimate backup phone. Also, it works well as an earphone. Sorry, as a earphone. 
Uh, this box is pretty tiny as well. Mini dialer, full synchronization. SMS call record, phone book, perfect mate for your phone, pad or other devices. Uh, okay, so on the side it has MP3 media, telephone and SMS if you put a SIM card into it and you can connect it to these sponges. <laughs> they look like sponges. And on the back of the box, BM50 mini phone, media, oh what's the blue one, so telephone, it's okay. SMS, mini phone, to make or receive a call of your mobile phone via wireless doesn't explain any further so that's step one step two to send and receive sms of your mobile phone via wireless okay step three to synchronize sms list call record phone book etc of your mobile phone via wireless okay to be inserted with a sim card and used as a mobile phone for all mobile phone hd voice connect mobile phone or pad stand by 120 hours Zzz. uh that's about it <laughs> we do have surround we're comfortable Easy operation, HD voice, and ergonomic. We're about to see how ergonomic it is. So inside the box, we get the phone, which you're not allowed to have a look at just yet. We get a rear cover, so you can literally use this as a Bluetooth earpiece. Back when, what, 2004, 2005, when everybody had a Bluetooth earpiece? Well, you can use it for that if you'd like to. <laughs> Go see the pictures online, they look quite uh, ridiculous. This cable is tiny, but... For a tiny phone, you, you don't need a big cable, do you? No. And instructions are folded, and there we go. That's what it's going to look like. And it's in Chinese. Let me see if it's in English. Switch off in hospital. Switch off in aircraft. Switch off when refueling. Switch off near blasting. <laughs> okay. Uh, your phone is nor water resistant. Keep it dry. Thank you very much. Use sensibly. Uh, the instructions are pretty tacky. The most obvious use is when paired with, say, a Samsung P1000, as the P1000 is 7 inches. You can avoid looking strange holding it up when making phone calls. Walking on the street, this can bow dangerous as well, and one walking near you would be able to hear your phone conversation, thus leading to privacy issues. If you choose to use a wired headset, this also gets in the way. can lead to situations where you get tangled up with yourself or even dropped and most likely damaged. That is the greatest monologue I have ever heard. I feel that needs to be said at my funeral, okay? That's 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 going to be set at my funeral. I promise. Otherwise, it is just a whole bunch of other settings and stuff. We don't really need to look at that. I've spent too much time looking at this. Right. So this is the GT Star BM50. So before we go ahead any further, let's have a look around the device. It has some pretty cool-looking speaker indents. Actually, they kind of look like dice if you sort of look at them a little bit like that. Yeah. Tiny USB port on it as usual. Just plastic bezel. Nothing interesting. It's very, very light as well. And cracking over the back of the phone, we get to see the little battery. This little battery is a 300 milliamp hour battery, which it's kind of a bit buckled, but for the size, yeah. Use only original batteries and charger. Do not disassemble, short circuit. The battery must be recycled, disposed of properly. May explode if damaged of in fire. And inside here we see GT Star model BM50 with the IMEI and the serial number. Now there is a SIM card slot just here above the speaker, which there is a secondary use for it. Nice, we have a SIM card in there. So that is the SIM card size. That's a full size SIM card that is installed in there. So let's go ahead and put the battery back into the into the phone. I like how it's got the sticker up, just in case you forget. And once again, the screen is the size of a micro SIM card. So if you have one of these laying around, take it, put it up to your face, and think about reading a screen off this, because I'm about to show you what it looks like. I think the easiest way that we're going to be able to do this is literally just navigating <laughs> through holding it. <laughs> so, it has a number of settings. So we have Bluetooth, so you can connect this to, say, your iPhone or your Android phone, and you can actually play music through this. So I can actually test rip and tear through this speaker. Yay. A2DP sync, yep, so I would say that's your, um, the Bluetooth link. Phone book, you have to wait until it all scrolls across until you see what it says. If I was to add a number to my SIM card, the name's going to be uh, B-O-B, 
Well, I screwed that up. And Bob's number is going to be... Uh, oh, God, this is so hard to control. Number. His number's going to be 0411111111. So, now that Bob is in our phone book, we can now message Bob. So, let's write a message to Bob. So... Oh. Okay, what? <laughs> the keys are so smushed together, it's, it's impossible. Hey. Ugh. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. These phones aren't meant <laughs> to be used seriously, honestly. A child could literally swallow this. It's, it's dangerous. In settings, we have user profiles that means yeah you can put on general bluetooth what oh, fuck i keep going back phone settings time and date language preference signal flight mode look if you're expecting to see anything special here there's nothing really except for the magic sound which i'm sure i'm gonna have to test on this aren't i that's why the whole sim card is in here it yeah okay Services, Vodafone. So yeah, it still works on the 2G network on uh, Vodafone. Don't know. I thought they were supposed to shut that down, but okay, it's still working. So I'm going to hook up my iPhone to this, and we're going to test the speaker quality. Then I'm going to make a call and show you the magic sound. Give me a second, and I'll work it all out. I have Bluetooth connected to this tiny little thing, and you can hear Rip and Tear playing. Are you ready for this tiny little speaker to cause mayhem? that's what it sounds like to be honest it's it's not that bad but I mean you could put this next to your ear and you know you've got a little sort of Bluetooth earpiece and you can listen to music like that it just looks a bit odd as I said refer to the stock photos online about it so now let's try this magic voice I'm gonna make a phone call to this and we're gonna test the magic voice okay let's test this little silly thing out I've had to change cameras because I forgot that um, the phone that I was using has my own SIM card in it oops I've just changed it to Optimus Prime um, this will be interesting And now this is Donald Duck. This is Donald Duck. Oh, Donald Duck. Oh, this, is, this is terrible. This is fucking terrible. Well, if you want to prank us, it works. I can safely say that the uh, robot one was fucking terrible. Now this is uh, Eva. I'd say from Wally. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> this is Eva. This is Eva. This is really it's serious. Really serious. Come on. I am talking. I am talking. In monotone. In monotone. <laughs> this is Eva's. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> and now we get to be Wally. This is going to be interesting. I'm Wally. I'm Wally. Wait. Wait. This doesn't sound. It doesn't sound any different. It's just me, it's just me with a little bit of a uh, robotic, voice. robotic voice. That's it. And now this one's called Rat Man. Hello? Hello? So, so this is. This is. Oh, oh it's that auto tune. Hey. Hey. I'm Lil Wayne. I'm Lil Wayne. <laughs> it's all It's all in it. It's a little $30 thing off the eBay. And this next one is Rap Woman. I presume this is the exact same one as the previous one. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Strange. Strange. Oh, Somebody wants to call me the world. It's gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Choose the sharpest tool in the shed. Choose the sharpest tool in the shed. Choose the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of a nail on her forehead. So that's it. <laughs> that's what the 
presumably the most tiniest phone in the world can do. It can do a lot of things, like a uh, magic voice, and uh, it can be a Bluetooth earpiece, but apart from that, it's you're not going to be able to text on this, you, you can't play movies, you can't do anything, it's just, it's it's a novelty. I call this simply a novelty, as per the, uh, the voice changing thing. But, at least we know how Lil Wayne raps now, using one of these. So, there you go, that's an interesting fact. This is the tiniest phone, but I have one more that I want to show. Mind you, you can buy all of these off eBay, and I'm going to show you one last one I picked up off eBay. And this one's got the most sort of functionality out of it, so let's, let's dig into that one and uh, finish up this video. I will give anybody $10 if they can guess that sound. So the next one we have here isn't super tiny. Here's a 5S next to it. But once we flip it open, the screen size is uh, quite a big difference. So this phone here is, uh, I would say it's pronounced Hermes or Hermes or something like that, uh, which is a fashion designer for the UK, I think, maybe France. I have no idea. I'm just going to guess every country until I get it correct. But anyways, let's have a look around the phone. We have this little rhinestone that's embedded in here, which works as a flash. The H logo, which also works as a flash as well. There's a little horse-drawn carriage and a little bloke there. Hang on, let's have a look at the little bloke. There we go, the little bloke's just staring at the horse going, Hey, mate, how's it going? Quite nice detail for a, for a tiny little phone. Now, these are about 30 to $40, depending on where you get them from. Um, I'm going to try and link some in the description, so you can buy this if you want to. It's, it's up to you. Around the phone, it's got this sort of gold-plated chrome bezel. This isn't a micro USB port, it's that weirdo proprietary port that's on those clones. I actually found the cable for this, and it only works with this one. It doesn't work with anything else, it just works with this one, so I was able to actually charge it. On the back of the phone, we have... Oh, Paris. There you go, so France. Uh, we have the little logo again, and we also have a single camera on here. And I'm sorry, that wasn't a flash. I mean, it's like an LED alert. Taking off the back cover, we can see the mini battery. So let's have a look at this mini battery. So this battery is just simply titled mini, that's it. But mini is a 430 milliamp hour battery. It's a rechargeable lithium ion battery, use specified charger only, must be disposed of properly, it makes blow damaged, blah, 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 blah. It's all very nice and self-explanatory. Two little prongs, positive and negative as per usual. So anyways, we can see that it is a model Mini M2 with the IMEI. I've got a 256 meg SD card already pre-installed and it takes a full-size SIM. So let's go ahead and install a SIM card. So the battery is now installed in the phone. So let's open it up and show you the inside. As we can see here, standard keypad, two option keys, a four-way directional pad with a center button, call and call end and your numeric T9 keyboard. We also have the Hermes logo on the screen and the little gold H logo on the top there. So let's go ahead and power it on. Which you can see Hermes just there. I hope everyone enjoyed that. <laughs> right, so that's it powered on and yeah, it's 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 tiny. It's ridiculously tiny. Do you hear that? It vibrates every time you um, press the button. So as when you close it, you can see the LEDs light up on it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Ridiculous, but, but cool. So, in main menu, we have contacts and a purse. This is obviously aimed at women, I guess, to just chuck in their purse and off they go. Hey, is Bob saved in here? No, but Marina is. Who the hell is Marina? I don't know why. In entertainment, we have QQ, which is a browser, isn't it? No, is it? I'm pretty sure this is a browser, but since my SIM card doesn't have any credit on it, and I don't know what that even says, um, I think it has a WAP browser on here. Um, Ebook. Let's have a look. I've got a test document on here, but I want to see if it actually can show my PDF file. No, it can't. Okay, so in my test document, I've got that is what an ebook 
is. So imagine reading a whole novel on this. Keep going. In multimedia, we have camera, DV, music, video, FM radio, and image, which is, yeah, interesting. Tools, we have my files, calendar, calculator, recorder, clock, location, reference sim, unit conversion, which is pretty helpful. Uh, yes, internet. So it does have a browser on this. How the hell, how could you even use a browser on this? Oh, I wish I could test that. That'd be so cool. Camera, settings, phone settings, time of day, shortcut, keypad, vibrator. Well, we can turn that on and off, whatever. Gradual LED. I already changed that when I first played the phone. Animation effect, yeah. So you can change all of that. Nothing really interesting. Security settings, yeah. Call settings, yeah. Profiles, all that. Connections. I think this has Bluetooth. Yes, it has Bluetooth. Uh, you can't use it as a uh, speaker for your phone, but yeah, you can just... Bluetooth files over to it, so it's pretty um, pretty convenient. So the phone memory has a 512K. I would say a 512K ROM. So I'll try the camera, and uh, we'll try the speaker, and go from there. And this is the recording quality of this tiny little Hermes, or however it's pronounced, mini tiny phone. So I tested the camera quality, I don't know what it looks like, can't comment on it as yet, but I'm pretty sure for this tiny little thing I'm not expecting terribly much. So let's go ahead and test rip and tear on here as usual. Let's play this and see what it sounds like. So the speaker's actually just here. Alright, prepare yourself. Was that actually pulsing to the uh, to the tone of that? I'm not too sure. So there's no magic voice or any other gimmicks apart from just being a really really tiny phone with basic functionality. Um, if your country still runs 2G and you want a really really tiny phone that can take pictures, well, here's a possible option. Or you can you know, possibly spend another sort of thirty dollars and get one of those phone baby things. They're pretty cool for the price. I mean, I must admit. Those tiny little phones are pretty cool, and I'll put a card as well. So what happens when we power this down? If you're gonna play this on speakers, I'll warn you now, your neighbors may think something else. So here's a roundup of these tiny little phones. This one here, I'm not too sure um, if the price is still about the same, but I think this is about maybe $20. I think these ones are both $20 US, and this one's about 30 to 40 US depending on where you can get them from. I'll try put links in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, I'm not going to bother about sort of spec wise um, because they would probably be running the world's lower CPU and yeah, it's just not worth trying to dig into them. Plus I've already taken this apart and there's like this much of a board inside of it. It's just nothing but yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little roundup of um, the world's tiniest phones. If you can link me to a phone that is smaller than this one, now mind you, this is tiny, and I mean absolutely fucking tiny, please link it to me and I will purchase it and review it, but I don't think you're going to get a flip phone any tinier than this one here. This is just absolutely ridiculously small. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. One more time for the shits and giggles. Pabersh. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.